Hello everyone and welcome to WooRewards. In this video we're going to learn how to use WooRewards standard, which is the free version of WooRewards. First, if you don't have installed WooRewards yet, you go to Plugins, Add New and type WooRewards in the search bar. Once it's installed, just activate it. Next, you will find a WooRewards submenu inside your WooCommerce menu. Click on it. You can now see the Woo Rewards Administration Panel. It is divided in three sections, Customers, Loyalty Systems and Settings. First, let's go to the Settings sections. In the General Settings, you can choose if tax should be included in the calculation of earned points when a customer orders. By default, it is set to No. In the Mail Settings, you can change the look of emails that customers will receive when they get a reward. You can set your logo, Change the footer text and the email subject in the upper part. For the footer text, the HTML code is allowed, if you want to create a link to your website, for example. In the lower section, you have access to our styling tool, which will allow you to change almost every aspect of the email. If you need help to use our styling tool, there is a link to a tutorial video in the description below. Don't forget to save your changes when you are done. After saving, you can test your email by entering an email address in the appropriate field and clicking the Send Test Email button. In Widget Styling, you can use the same styling tool to change the display of the widget provided with raw URLs. This widget is used to show to customers the points they currently have. Now, let's go to the main section, Loyalty System. As you can see, it is pretty simple in the free version. First, there's a button to define if your loyalty system is enabled or not. Underneath, you'll find the title for your program. Then you have the Earning Points group where you can see a list with three options. In the free version, there's only three ways to earn points for customers. Pass a first order, pass an order, and spend money. If you want more ways to add points, you can try the Pro version for free by clicking the links in purple. Here we want customers to earn points when they spend money on our website. Go to the Spend Money line and click the Quick Edit button. You can change the title if you want. I want customers to get 1 point every time they spend $10. So I will put 10 in the Money Spend field and 1 in the Earn Points field. I also want customers to earn 2 points every time they pass an order. As before, I choose the appropriate line and click the hidden button and put 2. Finally, customers should earn 5 points the first time they order on my website. Since they already win 2 points when they order, I will, I will give them 3 extra points on the first order. Now that customers can earn points, it's time to set up a reward. You can do that in the reward section. Once again, in the free version, you can only set up one reward. There are several informations here. First, you can set a title. Here I will put the rule reward. Then you have a description field. A default description is generated by the reward settings, but you can override it if you want. You can also set up an image from your media library. The most important field is the points needed. I want customers to earn a reward every time they sum 10 loyalty points. And the reward will be a fixed $10 card discount with a validity period of 60 days. You can also set a percentage discount instead. And now I save my reward. Well, we all set. It's time to give this brand new loyalty system a go. Click the on off button and then save changes at the bottom of the, of the page. Now, meet John Doe. He's a new customer at the Longwatch test shop and is about to pass an order. As you can see, John has zero loyalty points at the moment, since he's a new customer. First, let's pass an order. We have different products here. Let's pick one, like this album. We add it to the cart, then go to the cart to proceed to the checkout. Then, let's validate this order. Okay, now that's done. If I go back to the home page, you can see that John still has zero points. 
it's okay. The order hasn't been validated yet. Let's do it right now. I will pass the order to the complete status. Here it is. Now, if I come back to John Doe, I can see that he has now six loyalty points. He's on one point for spending $10, two points for passing an order, and three points because it was his first order. Six points isn't enough to get a reward, so let's pass a second order. We'll go to the shop and grab, um, let's see, that polo for 20 bucks. Same as before, I'll go to the cart, then the checkout and pass the order. Now, let's go back to WooCommerce and validate the second order. Here it is. If I come back to John Doe, I now see that he has no points left. But in his emails, he has received a 10 bucks coupon reward. That's it, you're set. You can go back to Woo Rewards and see the points and rewards of your different customers. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for another video.